She's an American who received an Oscar nomination this year for playing British. He's an Australian who got a nomination for playing American. Please welcome Julianne Moore and Russell Crowe. G'day folks, how you doing? Tonight's nominees for Best Achievement in Art Direction brilliantly transport audiences to another time and place. From the England of Queen Victoria to the New England Princes of Maine, from a criminally beautiful Venetian palazzo to a tyrannically accurate Siamese palace to a ghost town on the Hudson, these artists get every detail right to suspend our disbelief. Here are the nominees. For Anna and the King, Art direction by Luciana Rigi, and set direction by Ian Whitaker. For the Cider House Rules, art direction by David Grobman, and set direction, decoration by Beth Rubino. For Sleepy Hollow, art direction by Rick Heinrichs, and set decoration by Peter Young. For the talented Mr. Ripley, art direction by Roy Walker, and set decoration by Bruno Cesari. And for Topsy Turvey, art direction by Eve Stewart, and set decoration by Eve Stewart and John Bush. And the Oscar goes to... Rick Heinrichs for Sleepy Hollow, and Peter Young. This is the first Oscar nomination for Rick Heinrichs. Uh, set, set decorator extraordinaire Peter Young was unable to come tonight. And if I read the rules correctly, I get to take home two of these as a result of that. I hope so anyway. Um, I just uh, hope you don't mind if I brought this. The teleprompter doesn't work for me. Um, I share this award with an artist whose unique brilliance I got to glimpse 20 years ago in a wickedly funny short film about a demented dentist. Director Tim Burton, whose compelling vision of Sleepy Hollow was the inspiration we all keyed off of. I also share it with two gifted art directors, Les Tompkins and John Dexter, and three wonderful art departments in London, LA, and New York. I'm grateful for the support and the prodding of producers Scott Rudin, Adam Schroeder, and Larry Franco, and the backing of Paramount Pictures, Sherry Lansing, and Michelle Manning, and Ann Morales. And thanks for the, for the patience and love throughout of my wife, Dawn. And thank you to my parents for having me. Thanks.